We're going to jump right into our new show with information on being successful at Montgomery College. Our topic today is working the plan. We're going to speak to faculty, students, alumni about the best way to plan for your college success. Learn tips on how to lessen your stress and a lot more coming up on the very first edition of MC 101 on the real. Hi, welcome to MC 101 on the real. I'm Dr. Beverly Walker Grafia, Senior Vice President for Student Services at MC. And I'm here with some of the students from the Tacoma Park Silver Spring campus. And we're going to be talking today about steps they're taking to be successful at MC while they are working their plans. I'd like to start first with Antoine and ask him, what does he hope to get out of MC? What I hope to get out of MC is the opportunity to leave an impact on other students. And since this is my last semester, I've already accomplished certain goals. I hope to help out first year students as a first year experienced student ambassador. Natalie, why don't you tell us about how you are working your plan? Well, academically, I'm trying to complete my degree here at Montgomery College and then transfer to a four years university. And also, I want to take the opportunity that Montgomery College gives me to get involved in so many activities and to develop my skills at the highest level. And Ralph, why don't you tell our viewers what you're doing to work your plan? I've been working on my skills as a student so that I have the confidence to go on and transfer to a four-year school. And this has been the perfect place for me to do that while having a real life. One thing I'm hoping for is that everybody knows how to develop a plan for college success and then work the plan that they have designed. For those who don't know what's available at MC to help them plan, here's the 411. The MAP stands for the Montgomery Advising Program. It's for um, all brand new students at Montgomery College. It's part of our first year experience program. There's three different kinds of maps that we have. We've got the regular map, we have the IMAP for international students and students who are non-native speakers of English, and then we have the EMAP, which is the electronic version of the map. The map that I was, I was assigned to attend, it was an IMAP, which is the, for international students. I was hesitating to go, but my sponsor forced me to go to school because I was, I was scared and ashamed that my English is not well. As a new student to Montgomery College, it's a whole, a brand new world for you, and you don't know exactly where you need to go or what you need to do. So by attending a MAP session, you're going to be guided down the right path. When I went to the MAP, I was so blown away about the experience that I've had with the counselor and that helped me to be so comfortable that okay I'm ready to start school. When you attend a MAP session you're going to learn about things like what counseling and advising is here for and the services that they can provide for you, how to register for your classes and the courses that you have placed into. Before class I already knew which classes I need to register for and the counselor worked with me one-on-one -on -one to register for my classes and it was really a good experience and it really helped me to go to the IMAP. What is the college catalog, how should you use it, why it's important, all the different programs that we have here at Montgomery College, how to manage your time and plan for attending classes and the work schedule that you may have, how to create a schedule and the study skills that you need to be a successful student. If I have not have went to IMAP session, I don't think I would have continued with school because without going to the IMAP, I wasn't going to know which classes to take, which counselor to work with, and how much my classes are going to cost, and what kind of GPA I have to keep in order for me to be in a good standard with my education. Whatever campus you attend, you will meet with a counselor as a new student, and we look really forward to working with you and can't wait for you to start your journey here at Montgomery College. My name is Daniel Garcia and I graduated from Montgomery, Montgomery College in 1997. I'm originally from Honduras. Uh, I came to this country when I was 12 years old. Certainly I built uh, the skills that were necessary to successfully complete 
uh, college. But it also opened uh, my eyes to uh, the world, the diversity, the different ways of looking at the world and my, where I belong in that world. It really clarified with me what my purpose was. Remember that smart is not something you are, it is something that you become. And you become smart by working hard, so keep at it. Did you know Montgomery College has the largest student body in Maryland, representing more than 160 countries? To help students navigate MC and college life, we have designed special classes that have a DS designation in our catalog to prepare our new students for success. The first year seminar is part of a series of programs and services of the first year experience. The purpose of the first year seminar study habit development, helping students with the transition to college. In the first year seminars, we strive to give our students an opportunity to learn about college resources, about getting involved and staying connected with the institution, how to become a better student from high school and the differences from high school to college. All the DS courses, the 104, which is the seminar for international students, and the 107 for national students, are really to, to give that student an initial connection. For many of our students, this is the first time they've been in the United States. So DS-104 spends time helping them to learn how the system of education in the United States works, how to make friends in the U.S., how differences in all different types of aspects of being a part of the United States work. The DS-104 class was really interesting. They gave us a way to relieve that stress that everyone has because you're new, you don't know people, you have a new experience, new country, new language for a lot of us. The DS-104 class focus on international students, give them the guidance, what they can do in order to be a successful student. It was amazing to have that experience and to get through that part that you don't feel an alien anymore. The DS-107 class gives students really kind of a big picture of the services we offer here. The student development courses such as DS-107 are stepping stones towards student success. In DS-107 I learn like different things that helped me throughout my college life. It was a very rewarding experience. I took it and it was an experience that was needed. It taught me so many things about what I should do in the college. Career exploration, career planning. How I should transfer. Educational planning. How I could do a payment plan. Time management, organization. How I just needed to be successful, not only in Montgomery College, but in my future. I learned more than just planning for my college career, but also about other things regarding life and, and my environment. You have to find common interests. Maybe you can find friends from your classroom, or lunchroom, or mutual friends from somebody else. There are a lot of clubs you can join. I mean, there's, there's the cafeteria, lots of people, just go sit down, chat to people, it's good. Talking to people in my classes, just seeing who's really outgoing. I try to talk to the shy people too. Just break the ice with people, uh, good, do good conversations and, and have fun. That's the important thing. Right now I'm part of the Macklin Business Institute. I join other clubs and, you know, like get to know people. Like don't just come to class and leave. Meet new people basically. So you're a college student now. You go to all of your classes, study, and complete your homework assignments, but you also have other responsibilities. You have a job, you have a partner, you're on an athletic team, you're involved in campus activities, you have kids, maybe all of the above. Here are some tips on how you can manage your stress while giving your best. Do you recognize that feeling? That feeling of being overwhelmed and being overstressed? As a Montgomery College student, I bet you do. You're so busy keeping up with your classes, doing your studying, going to the library, and preparing for exams, there's no time left to de-stress. Well, I'm going to give you some tips on how to de-stress today. First of all, starting with how we respond to those ah moments. 
What you can do in the moment is stop and examine your response. Is your response appropriate? Is it realistic? Is it accurate? For instance, have you ever been to the grocery store and you're in the 12 item or less line and the person in front of you clearly has 20 items? What do you think to yourself? Look at that person. Or do you think to yourself, Poor thing, he doesn't know how to count. Just by reframing the situation, you can put some humor in there and really diffuse your own physical and psychological response to that. There are some other things you can do. You can think about rather than what's going wrong in your day, what went right today? Keep a gratitude journal, two or three things a day that really delighted you or, or made you feel good and reflect on those. That can change how you view your day as well and make the bigger things look not so big because in reality they're not. And here's a technique you can do with your body. It's called contraction and relaxation. And by contracting the major muscles in your body, you're going to invoke the relaxation response. It sends messages to your brain to relax, to recover, to be calm and you get a little burst of endorphins at the same time, which makes you feel good. So let me show you how to do it. And hopefully you'll do it with me. What we're gonna do is take those feet and pull them up and really tighten your toes and then relax. Take your calves, squeeze them back of the lower leg and relax. Take your quadriceps, the thigh muscle and contract it really, really, really hard. Let it go. Take your glutes, squeeze them together and relax. Take your belly, pull it in, squeeze it, relax, let it go. Take your triceps, extend the arms, push, 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 and release. Take your biceps, curl it in, squeeze those fists, let it go. Take your back, round it and push, let it go. Open up the chest, hands behind you, squeeze those shoulders together, let it go. Close your mouth, squeeze your eyes, squinch your face up, and let it go. There, do you feel it? That's the relaxation response. This is something you can really do anywhere and it immediately causes the body to relax and recover. I hope these tips are helpful for you. Well, I'd like to thank my friends today who gave some great tips and some excellent advice to really help us to learn about what it takes to be successful here at MC. And I'd like to thank you for watching our first episode of MC 101 on The Real. But before we go, we'll leave you with some science fiction illustrations on display in the Arts Institute Gallery on the Tacoma Park Silver Spring Campus. See you next time. Yeah.